Okay, now I'm back with uh, our electrolysis experiment. We were looking for a plasma discharge on the cathode. Now I've got about a quarter inch or so left of the tungsten electrode there. And what I want to show now is the voltage that I'm using in this uh, strong solution of KOH. Um, we have a variac hooked up here and right now I've got it pulling about uh, 65 volts and I want to show the reaction on the uh, cathode. And 65 volts and as you can see the cathode ray is glowing but it's not the purple color that we're looking for. There is a little bit of purple but there's yellow on the tip which means it's too hot and there's white around it. Uh, I'm not sure if I can zoom in on that or not and I'll try. But this camera probably won't pick that up very well. There's just no resolution. That's just with the tip glowing. Uh, that's 40 volts. The tip's glowing. It's it's actually not bad production. Uh, if you look at the anode, there's quite a bit of uh, bubbles coming off that steady stream. Uh, but the cathode tip is just glowing. There's no yellow and blue white color around the cathode. Now 30 volts, we've got just no glow, but solid production. There's actually, I would say that the production is the same at 30 volts as it is at 60. Although there's no glow, there's no um, electrical arc, no arc discharge, definitely no plasma being formed. Now I'm going to go ahead and go up from 30. That's 53 volts, and you can see blue as well as yellow along the cathode. Yellow on the tip, and uh, the blue and white dots appear along the cathode towards the top of the water. Two volts will have more of the blue formation and possibly a little bit of the magenta. Um, we're looking for purple. Now that's 76 volts. We're a little bit red on the tip, uh, a lot more blue, and possibly some magenta. Every once in a while you'll see a big burst. That's when the plasma is trying to form during that big burst. 
the problem with going up higher is that we pull more amps and we uh, eventually burn the tungsten. Right now, it looks like the tungsten is involved in a arc, so it won't destroy it. And I'm going to turn it up some more. That's 85 volts. And you're seeing more of the blast coming away from the tip. And when that blast happens, that's what we're looking for. But it's not sustaining it. More production. The cathode is not uh, melting. It's not turning red hot. I'm going to bring it up some more. That's 95 volts. We're getting more reaction there. Um, bigger discharges off the cathode. But there it goes, and it's overheating. Just turn the voltage back down. And that red should go away. Still too much voltage. And 68. At 68, the red glow goes away, and we're back to uh, the blue and white and yellow colors of, around the uh, cathode. Now, right there at 69 volts, we're pulling 230 watts. Amps show 2.3, we're running 60 hertz, and it shows 0 